Hi, welcome. I hope you are doing well. I hope you know you are fabulous. Thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to bring you messages from your spirit guides, your angels, soulmates, maybe even twin flames. We're gonna go ahead and get started with finding out who needs to hear this message. By the way, if this is your first time, I'm Krista. If you are returning, thank you so very much for your continued support. Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for our friends. What is it they need to know? What is it they need to hear? At this moment, who is it that needs to hear this message? We have Virgo. 54 Virgo. Very posh with the purple. All right. Beautiful Virgo. Let's see what we have going on for you. Spirit, please continue these divinely guided messages for the highest good only for Virgo. What is it that they need to know? What do they need to hear when they are drawn to this reading? Trust is at play in this reading for you, Virgo. All right, let's go ahead and start with some tarot. Spirit for Virgo, what of the fates? What is it that they need to know? 17 may be significant for you as well as 54 Virgo. 17 could be a date. I feel like that's a lucky number for some of you. So we have the Ten of Cups. And these came out in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse, which means things are going good for you at the moment. We also have Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're thinking about letting go of some things. You had been holding back or holding on to something and you are seriously thinking about letting go it may have to do with the fates. But something has closed for you recently and you feel very good about it. I feel like there was a change in your life journey. There was a significant change for the better for you. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some love energy coming in for you, Virgo.
I feel like, okay, this is in reverse as well, the Seven of Swords, all right. I feel like you had a lot of worries. You've overcome some health issues, perhaps some financial issues. You overcame your fear. You had a lot on your mind. I feel like at one point there might have been something taken away from you if you did not come through. Maybe, again, pay off a debt, perhaps. Um, maybe you left a job that was very unsatisfying to you. People were possibly talking behind your back. It's things that you feared, but you've overcome these fears. Good for you, Virgo. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. So I feel like with the fates, the closure that you, or closures, that you have recently had or will be experiencing in the very near future, they are going to release you from whatever it is that was tying you down, whatever it is that was holding you back, or whatever it is that you were holding on to. There's a lot of release going on with you, or there has been. I'm hearing self-improvement, the sun. You've definitely been working on yourself. You are definitely in a moy. Oh my goodness. I wanted to say more and joyful. Moy. You've been in a more joyful state of mind, body, and soul. You have been feeling very vibrant. You've been very outgoing. I mean, look at this, Virgo. Very sure of yourself, very confident. Again, very posh, very wise with all the purple. Purple means posh, you know. <laughs> the moon. So some of your confidence and happiness is because you have allowed yourself to let the fates take care of some things. When you did that, that really released a lot of burden from you. You felt better about things. You, you didn't feel like people were ripping you off. You were looking at things from a different perspective. And You allowed yourself to go with the flow. To do, of course, what you need to do as you were able to do it. But you didn't allow yourself to worry too much about the outcome. It's like you're living in the now. I am feeling this one, but these two need to come out too. Yeah, you've walked away from burdens, but you made sure that you took right care of them before you did. So you released some burdens, let things go, and you allowed yourself to go in another direction through your life journey. And things have been moving fast for you. You have been going through a very creative, very passionate, like on fire state. You're in 
fast mode. You've been weighed down by burdens. Again, for some of you it's medical, for some of you it's financial. <laughs> we got the Knight of Pentacles that came out, okay. With the Knight of Pentacles, it is going to be a little while before you are able to find yourself, be content with what you have been finding and learning. And once you do that, then you're going to be able to grow roots. You're going to be able to make a foundation for yourself. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, someone is going to see you as the sun, you as the joyful person that you are. Regardless of what you just recently received closure on or will be, that's not going to matter for your future. I feel like that is relative to the moon being at the bottom of the deck earlier. There might be some hesitation, some fears about your life journey and where it's going. You haven't had the sense of freedom in, in quite a while. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. There's going to be something starting up new for you in the future. Probably within the next year, Virgo. Boy, this is screaming Virgo though, isn't it? With all the pentacles. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad you're happy. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. So with the Page of Swords, that means that spirit is either guiding you toward possibly taking some courses learning more this could be directed to about learning more about yourself if this is regarding medical and and health related this very well could be learning more to maintain the way things are now for you on you know thing things are on the the um the good side now for you But definitely learning more to continue growth, whether it's, this might have to do with investments as well. For those of you who have a financial burden lifted, lifted off of you, you have some extra money coming in now, or it, it feels like extra money. You know, when you pay something off, it feels like you got your a raise. <laughs> um, so your spirit guides, are probably telling you here with the page of swords to do your homework don't go spend it on your money save it invest it um, make another purchase and again if it's your health keep keep yourself on the good side and then we have the page of Pentacles So your near future, within the next year, you, it's almost like you're going to be investing in a new home. You may even be investing in, an, in starting a new business with the money that you now have. 
And you know, okay, and I'm hearing those that, that may have had some medical concerns, you've overcome those, yay, yay, I'm so happy. Um, and with that said, you've also released, have been released from financial burdens with constant office visit payments and things of that nature. So Virgo, I feel like this is very much a health and or financial related reading for you. You can't, if you haven't already had that closure and you're not the Ten of Cups yet, your angels are coming in to tell you that you are going to be the Ten of Cups very soon. This is a wonderful reading for you, Virgo. It's about doing what you can for yourself, but also trusting in your spirit guides, your angels, letting the universe do its thing for you. If this reading resonates, I certainly hope that everything works out for you, Virgo. If it does not resonate, I hope you found it entertaining in the very least. Please like this video, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. All of the above helps my channel to grow. Until next time, Virgo, stay absolutely fabulous. Bye.